Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, tech-snobs.com. Looking at the Chromebook, uh, this is my review. It's going to be a brief review. Um, you know, very nice product overall. This is definitely something uh, you're going to want to use as a uh, secondary machine. Um, you know, definitely, I, I think for $249, it, it is a decent uh, deal for, for what it does. And what it does basically is it's pretty much everything's web-based. Um, you know, you pretty much work out of a Google Chrome browser and you also have access uh, to the App Store. Let's see, I'm going to pull up a uh, website here real quick. You know, you can go on to ESPN.com is one. Um, and then at the bottom, it kind of shows in the left-hand corner like a little tab with the E on it. And, you know, you have these little nice little web app interfaces. Uh, you have the Chrome Web Store. And this is the same thing you can get on your browser now on Chrome, but it, you know, there's some benefits and perks to it on here. It's kind of like you can install it to offline app as well. So if I click on something like cut the rope, um, go in here, I can hit add to Chrome, add cut the rope, you hit add, and it's going to go ahead and install it and add it. Um, and it's not bad. Like I said, it, it, it's pretty cool from an aspect of, of, of doing what it does. It's not by no means a full-fledged computer. Um, you know, because it, you can do some offline things, but it, you know, it is limited. Um, and then so I click on play and as you can see, it's it just running in the browser as a tab. I mean, that's all it does. I click on the X, close the tab out and that's pretty much it. And then what happens is if I click on the app drawer in the left hand corner, uh, I see the cut the rope icon right there. So it's just little things like that. Um, of course you, it does have a camera. Uh, where you can use the camera to, um, you know, do video and so forth. Pretty cool. Also have um, just a lot, nice, you know, a lot of little cool little apps. Some of them don't work as well on this because, uh, um, you know, the specs on it aren't as great. But once again, if you need to get to Gmail, you need to use Google Docs, um, and that's primarily all you're going to do, uh, this isn't a bad product at all. I also found out on the back of it, that wasn't a micro SIM card. It's actually for the actual SIM card itself uh, for cellular service. Um, this model doesn't support that out of the box, but you can order one uh, with that type of service. So that's just, you know, those are the few things I've noticed about it. I mean, honestly, <clears throat> when you even go into the settings and so forth, um, it opens up the, the, you know, the web browser itself. You know, and like I said, it's all, you know, you see Chrome OS uh, and it's, there's some things in here. You scroll down to advanced settings, which is very, very similar to the basic, you know, Chrome browser you already use if you do use Chrome. And there's a few little more options. There's an option there to, to enable Bluetooth. Uh, there's some other little options in here to, you know, where you put your downloads. You can do that on the regular Chrome along with cloud print. There's some accessibility options. So, like I said, it's just it's a limited experience. I mean, you can you can do some offline storage. You actually do get a hundred gigs of Google Drive storage while using this, which is another great thing. So, like I said, you know, it is what it is. I de it's definitely a decent effort. Um, uh, lightweight, two hundred forty nine dollars. I mean, you really can't complain. Eleven point six inch display. Um, it does what it you know is supposed to do, and I think it's a definitely a nice product. Um, you know, so definitely. If you're in the market for a secondary machine and you use a lot of Google stuff, you may find that the Chromebook from Samsung, you know, fits that need for you. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check the site out, tech-snobs.com. Uh, more things on the way. Uh, here is the Samsung Chromebook. Check, you know, there's going to be a lot of things coming. More tablets, all kind of great things here in 2013. So thanks for watching, folks. Take care.